Well, it's been a little while, and we've got some changes. We've been bought out. Uh, there has been a rebrand, a new look to the team. You are getting a look at the alternate uniforms at the moment. I'm going to tell you a little more about that and move on with our season. Big deal. Um, to be honest, part of it comes from just not having played in a while and kind of wanting to refresh things as I jump back in. Give a little lore to the story of the former Bayfront Bullets. Get to the new game things, and there's a new face in the crowd, too, and uh, she'll be starting a game for us today, so we'll find out more about that. But, well, here we're going to get a look at it, and uh, let's see, let's get to this screen right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through the logos and things. You are getting a look right here at the Pine City Pelicans. And this comes with a, a relocation for the team, as well as some new uniforms, which uh, you are seeing here. Um, so let's go back and we'll take a look at the uniforms themselves. First, our home unis, kind of a black undershirt, teal and white. Uh, this is loosely uh, based on the local ball team we have for summer ball uh, here in uh, Rochester, Minnesota called the Hawkers, and I worked for them for a couple seasons, and I liked their color scheme, and I thought it was funny that they had almost literally the exact same logo, and I thought it was even funnier if I called them the Pelicans, but the logo was a duck. I don't ask. Um, our away unis, which are these guys right here, um, not too bad, not too, you know, nothing fancy, but uh, I'm thinking we're going to go with the alternates today. And that's what you're getting a look at there. So home, away, and alternate unis present. We are down to do any more alterations um, that uh, you might be interested in seeing. Uh, here's the alternates. These are, are very sharp black and teal. And the only real big move that we made, as you can see here, Getty Doctor offended a Pine City Pelicans coach. So as the buyout uh, began... Uh, Doctor had some opinions of it that apparently were not to the Pine City Pelicans organizational standards, and the 21-year-old was let go uh, and replaced uh, by Queen Lang, older starter, um, quite a bit older, in fact, uh, a little worse in the overall department than Getty, and uh, we'll see what she brings to the table. A little bit uh, marginally, by the way, better velo. And uh, we'll see what that entails uh, as we get a look at the lineup here. We got Canopy. Cannon's looking pretty good. Princess Precious in the two spot. Nick Jackman in the three spot. We're going to swap those two, I think. And uh, Ronan Lamb. I don't know if we need him necessarily cleaning up. Let's see who else we can maybe bop up a, po a spot or two. Sophia... I'm down to put Layla maybe a little closer to that cleanup spot. Let's move Miss Uptown. So we'll do that. Ronan Lamb, Sophia, and uh, Isla. She's doing well for us. I'd like to see that. Blamo Battery filling in. And uh, Queen Lang going to be on the hill. Um, 35 years old, probably only sticking with us for a little while, but uh, we'll see what that entails, and we are going with the alternates, and we'll get a quick uh, look at, how do we do this? Is it this one? Yes. Maybe. So we'll choose uniforms here, and uh, I don't want to put them in their aways when they're at home, so they're going to look a little similar with lots of dark colors going on today. Um, Brickley Salmon. And the other players here, I'm not going to try to read them all at the moment. We got someone in secondary, so that's kind of good. They got a heck of a lineup in the power department, though, and not bad contact for these guys either. Uh, pitching today for the Dazzlers, we have Sony Kanto, I believe. So, all right, let's do it. We're going to be heading on the road to Lakewood. I don't know if I said Lake City. That's Minnesota in the brain, I guess. This could be one for the record books and big sky ball. 
Well, Big Sky, we haven't uh, taken to in quite a while. I do apologize for the voice, and I should have led with it, but I'm not feeling great. I uh, worked spring break last week, and it came back to bite me a little bit. Here's Canopy going to lead things off against Kanto. And the Dazzler is ready to get this one underway. His first pitch of this one is bonked foul. We're underway. 0-1 to Canopy Cannon. And he's going to knock the second pitch right through for a base hit. Canopy aboard in this daytime contest. Thanks for tuning back in for some more baseball, Super Mega Baseball. Nick Jackman in the two hole for the Pelicans. That's going to take some getting used to for you and for me. And Jackman on the ground, two ball. Second one back to first is in time, so the bases will be clear. Two are out. And Princess looks nice in teal. Look for this team and uh, new lots of things. Uh, other than the pitcher, there actually isn't a lot new. But you know, mid-season rebrand, definitely unprecedented uh, as far as your main team goes. But we've seen it with a few teams around the league as we've played this series. Precious beat that one foul. Wants to get a hold of one here, but she's in trouble. And that's... On the ground, the throw to first is going to end the top of the first. And now we'll get a look at Queen Lang, the new starter. Brought in specifically by management after a dispute with management Brickley Salmon as Lang in her blue hair deals a strike. So the righty and a 1-1 one, one count now to Salmon that's in there 1-2 looking for her first strikeout as a Pelican and she's not going to have it on that as it's bonked off the pole still 1-2 and two. on the ground that's going to left and that'll get caught 1-1 up, one down for Lang Corey Carter in the 2 spot and good power, good contact for this lineup as Carter follows one away at 0-1. Lang even up now with one gone. Now one and two. And there it is. Queen Lang, first strikeout as a Pine City Pelican. Mariah Intense going to take up the bat against Lang, who... Deals the ball, so nobody is on. There are two balls, no strikes to intense. That's foul, two and one. Here comes Lang. Popped up, and this should be the end of the first, and it will be. Nothing doing for either club after an inning of play, and here come the Pelicans. See how many times I say bullets instead. Here's Layla, pink hair. That teal bat makes a little more sense now, I suppose. I don't know if she saw the breed brand coming the whole time or what, but uh, good for her as she knocks a base hit up the middle, and she'll scamper to first base. Pelican's looking to get something going. Here's Ronan Lamb going to dig in now for the first time from the left-handed box. That's taken, nothing in one, and... Uh, Remember, Layla is aboard. 1-1 one, one to Lamb. Swing and a miss. 1-2. Nope, and Kanto can't find the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Nope, now it's full. Lamb looks in. And he's going to have a strikeout. First one of the day for the Dazzlers. Here comes Sophia. That cotton candy bat stands out a little differently with the new unis. These alternates. Looking good for the Pelicans, and that's a strike, but dropped, and the runner, Layla, moves up into scoring position for Sophia. And that's a ball. Coffee. Wants to get something going now, one and two on her. Pitch. Not there. Even up. And foul. We'll do it again. Sophia. Takes it, and we're full. 3-2. On the way. Broke the bat. And that's good for an out. Runner stays at second. Isla Chapman digs in. First at-bat for her in this ball game. And there are two out. 
Runner in scoring position. Trying to capitalize here. Chapman in on 01 count. Pops it up and that'll lure. No problem behind the dish and the ball. The Pelicans is what I was going to say. There's the first one. Sent packing. Inning and a half. Nothing. Nothing. Here's Sportsman. Intense walk up music. See if it affects Lang's performance. First offering is there. That's a strike. And a plane going over here at Big Sky, and that's foul away. A screamer from Sportsman, and that'll be a souvenir. Lang winds, kicks, and fires. That's not there either. On the ground, and that's going to get through. Sportsman with a knock. First base occupied here for Lakewood. Bonnie Churnley, and for some reason that name scares me. Lang might be intimidated as well. A 1-0 start to the at-bat, even up now. Bonnie knocks one foul, one ball, two strikes. Lang sets and fires, and that's a screamer. One second, and that's a double play. How about your Pelican defense ending that threat? And two are now out. Espinoza is going to step in. Formerly text-to-speech, I believe, from back in one of the pre-update day days. And 1-2, Espinoza stands and waits. Lang says sit down. That's a strikeout. And a good solid start. Two innings in the books, and nobody has been able to crack the scoreboard. Right field, number eight, Lamo Battery. Lamo Battery. Intensely digs in the box for his first at-bat against Kanto. And that's not there, 1-0. Oh. Another plane going over reminds me of San Diego a little bit. Just there, and you hang out in Little Italy long enough, and they're a heck of a lot louder than that. They're screaming right over your head. And that's a base knock for battery. One on and nobody out. Pelican's trying to get something moving. Queen Lang will step in. Where's the number 53? Does the 35-year-old starter? Runner goes. The throw is going to be not there in time. So, battery in scoring position. You try to move him up here? I don't know. Or breaks for third, a good knock, and we'll do just that. So good at bat there for Lang. Waits for and gets the stolen base and then moves the runner over. Canopy now digs in with a runner at third, wanting to drive in the first run of this one. He swings and knocks that down. And that is going to be a nothing play. There are runners at the corners for Nick. Well, the double play back in effect, and that would end the inning, but Nick wants to put the Pelicans ahead. Did I say bullets back there? I might have. Take some getting used to. Pops that one foul, so Nick behind 0-2. And he launches that one. That's going a long way, and the first Pelican home run goes to Nick Jackman with a three spot. Well, Big Sky, known for the big fly, and the big bearded boy, Nick Jackman, man to get it done. Three nothing bullets. And here comes Princess Precious. There's a trivia question for you folks. Who hit the first Pine City Pelican long ball? Mr. Nick Jackman himself. That's knocked foul. Oh, two on Princess. She knocks this one left field. Did they go back to back? It's got a chance and it's out of here. First two home runs back to back from Nick Jackman and Princess Precious. And the Bullets had another run. There it is. Pelicans. Pelicans. Pelicans had another run. Here's Layla Uptown. She got aboard last time. Well, former. I don't know if you call her a former Pelican or a former Bullet, but Nicole Frazier, one pitch, and that's going to be foul. That's okay. 
Got a heck of an arsenal, this Fraser, and uh, we, she used to battle for us, so we know her well. And we'll see if her teammates were taking notes on the ground, and that's going to do it for the Pelicans. No, it's not. I'm blind. Here comes Ronan Lamb now, and well, you look up at the scoreboard this inning, and four have come across. Lamb says, why don't you keep that inning going just a touch longer? Knocks one up the middle. He's got a single. Now batting the shortstop, number All right. Seven, Sophia Coffee. Break out the beans. It's time for coffee. Sponsored by Street Fox Coffee. Eight points if you get that reference, and she's caffeinating up a knock. Single for Sophia, and there are two aboard with two gone for the Catcher Pelicans. Isla Chapman. Isla Chapman digs in. Just a good spot here. Two on, two out. Chapman that's a strike and a half, takes friend. one in the zone. Yep, that's inside. And 1-1 one, one, knocked and on the ground, and that is going to do it. Pelicans strike for four runs. They lead the hit column 7-1. They lead this ball game for nothing. Center fielder, number 72, Colin Dozen Rolls. You say dozen rolls or I don't know. We'll call them rolls. Yep. As Lang deals a ball to start the inning and one and one on the way. That's low. Two one. On the ground should be an easy play, and the toss across. Good for the first down of the inning. Urban Farmhand. Urban Farmhand. Gonna step in and Lang winds kicks and deals a strike. 0-1. Oh nope, no. Not quite there, so an even count. Farmhand knocks it away. Foul. It's one and two. The pitch. On the ground again and uh, not going to escape the bullets infield. Two gone in a hurry. All right. Well, that'll bring up Nicole Frazier. Music we haven't heard for a long time. That's there. So Nicole facing down her former team. She was able to get an out in the last inning and strikes out here to end this one. And we move to inning number four with a four-run lead for the Pine City Pelicans. Right Blamo Battery was able to get a knock. This time he stepped in the box and Frazier back to work. First pitch swung on and fouled by Battery. It's own one. Too low. And Battery gets a hold of that center field going back but a can of corn and no problem defensively for the Dazzlers. One up, one down. Number 53, Queen Lang. Here's Queen Lang. She has been pitching a good ball game. Just one hit allowed for the Dazzlers as she has gone at this point. Three complete and she's got a knock of her own. Knocks one right up through the infield and she'll scamper to first and we're back to the top of the Pelican order. Here's Cannon and he's going to step in with a chance to do something here. One gone, but a runner aboard for him. Nope. Lucky 13 ahead, 2-0. and oh. Here it is from Frazier. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike to Cannon. Strike. That's in there. Even up now on the outfielder. Swings and fouls when he'll stay alive and see another one. And knocks that on the ground. That'll sneak through Cannon. Knocks a single, and there's two aboard for the Pelicans. The first baseman, number 81, Nick Here's Nick Jackman. He launched one out of here. They'll probably pitch him a little more carefully this time as he stands in with two on and one out. You bet that's a first pitch is in there, so they're going right after him, Nicole. You bet that's a Very little fear, and an 0-2 count on Nick leads to a pop-up, and they had his number. So that'll do her for Jackman, but not out of the woods yet. 26, 
The hair contrasting with the teal of the unis. It's Princess Precious. Two on two are out. Pitch from Frazier is fouled away. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss. 0 2. Precious takes it. Here it comes. That's not there. A ball two strikes on Princess. Swing and a miss. She goes down, and so do the Pelicans in the fourth. Nothing able to be added. See how Lang does bottom half of inning number four. Here comes Salmon. Top of the order, and Lang deals another strike. Management really wanted to go get Queen, and thus far, we can see why. Corey Carter stands in next. And that might be the first pitch ball that we've seen all game from Queen Lang right back in it now. 1-1 one, one working quickly, swing and a miss, 1-2. Here it comes. Lang gets a pop-up. That shouldn't go too much farther than the infield. And it will not. So Queen on her way to her first, fourth, excuse me, scoreless inning here's intense and Lang winds kicks and deals a strike one on the way to Mariah is on the ground charged thrown across and what an inning three up three down and moving to the fifth now are we as the Pelicans lead it 4-1 or 4 nothing. here comes Layla teal bat and uh, that's a strike uptown. One ball, one strike to Layla. One two after the foul, the pitch. On the ground, the infield charging it short, thrown across. Layla's going. There's Ronan Lamb. He would like to shake off some struggles he's been having at the plate. <laughs> you bet that's strike, a strike, spits on it, but it was a strike regardless. Swing and a knock, that'll get through for Ronan. A single for Lamb, and the Pelicans in business. Yes, it still feels weird to say that. Sophia Coffee steps in. Knocked a single earlier, and we'll see what she's got for us here. First pitch not there. And coffee down the line, but foul. Sophia takes there. She's ahead now, 2-1. That's in there, even up now for coffee. Swing and a knock, that could be two. Second, one back to first, that's a double play. And that'll do her for the top of the fifth. Bottom half we go as Lang tries to keep up the good work. To do that, well, She'll face Sportsman. It's already had a knock today, if not more than one. The one hit that the Dazzlers had thus far has come from Sportsman. Who's now behind in the count, however. One ball, two strikes. And foul away. Sportsman will see another. Lang not able to get the strike out there. Two, two, swing, and a miss. Lang... Get it done. Bonnie Churnley steps in and Queen Wines kicks and deals. That's too high a ball, 1-0. Oh. She works fast and it's 2-0 oh on Churnley. 2 oh is a dangerous count. That's in there, 2-1. And 3-1 and one to Bonnie. Here it is. Nowhere close, ball four. And that's the first walk of the day for Queen Lang. Here's Espinosa takes the ball, so Queen laboring a little here. That's down the line, and that's fair. Espinosa with a knock. They're at the corners now. Well, dozen rolls or cousin rolls. 
Renzo Clark going to come in trying to do cleanup here. The right-hander making his first appearance in Pelican gear. As he starts off with a strike. Swing and a miss. Clark ahead 0-2. Lorenzo deals. On the ground, but foul. We'll do it again. Here he comes. Not quite able to get the call. And 2-2 on the way. And he got him. Lorenzo would strike out. Runner stays at third. Urban Farmhand steps in. Lorenzo on the mound. Two are out. Trying to save the shutout. Farmhand swings and misses nothing in one. On the ground. This should do it. Throw to first is there. And that'll lure Lorenzo Clark out of the pen. Shuts him down. Sixth innings upon us. It's 4 nothing Pelicans. Number four. Isla Chapman leads things off as we get started with inning number six. Chapman takes inside. Would him in a pass ball if it mattered. Too low. 2-0 two oh now to Isla. She takes one in the zone. Still ahead 2-1. Now 3-1 and one to Chapman. Swinging and a miss. 3-2. On the ground, and that'll not escape the infield of the Dazzlers, and... Eight some pitches, but she's gone. Here's Battery. He'll settle in now and knock one first pitch to third. Across, no problem. Two up, two down in the sixth for the Bullets. I did it again. <laughs> the Pelicans. Lorenzo Clark, who came in and shut him down. He'll... Uh, have a strike to start his at bat. Now even up at one apiece. Yep, that's and taken two and one. Clark right field. Does Lorenzo have a long ball? He does not. Well, bottom of inning number six. And the Pelicans trying to preserve a combined shutout off Queen Lang. Now Lorenzo Clark pitching to former Emilio Casey is going to take the spot. Lorenzo deals a strike. 0 oh, 1. Casey oh, takes it. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Clark wants it, and he's not going to have it there. Casey gets out of the way. And even up. Lorenzo 2 2. And on the ground, that is going to get through. Took a bounce, and Casey's got a knock. All right. Well, hot water never hurt anybody. Brickley Salmon. Double play is a possibility for Lorenzo. First pitch is going to be a double play, as in two runs. Scoring on one knock, and the Dazzlers on the board with a two-run home run. And cut the Pelican lead in half. For two years' score... And Lorenzo, I think he'll stay here. We'll see. Corey Carter steps in. Lorenzo will face him. Starts outside a ball, 1-0. Oh. Carter down the line, and that's foul. Ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. 1-2 on the way from Lorenzo, and that's on the ground. Foul, we'll do it again. 1-2. Okay. Not there. Even up 2-2 two, two from Clark. And he got him. A strikeout, the throw to first. Is it Arroyo or Mariah? Well, here's Isla Padilla, the lefty, will face the lefty. It's too low. Isla trying to dial it in. Does so on pitch two, one and one up there. Two balls in a strike. Padilla deals. Foul away. And down the line, that could be trouble, and that's going to get foul, not by much. And on the ground again, foul. Wants the put away, does Padilla? She's going to have it. Mino Sportsman. Having a good one. The righty against the lefty takes a strike. 
Nowhere close there. One and one. That's in there though. One two. Padilla fires. Even up. Two two. On the ground foul. That got down the line in a hurry. Slam the ass. Padilla. Get it done. And we're going to see somebody pop in for inning number seven. It's a 4 2 game. Pelicans lead the hit column 10 to 4. Canopy Cannon looking to add some insurance here for Pine City. As the first pitch to him is outside of ball 1 0. And they're pitching scared. 2 0 is in there, 2 1 to Cannon. And that's all the way to even her up to a piece on the canopy. He follows it away. We'll see another offering. And that one's also fouled away. Swing and a miss. One down. Top seven. Here's Nick. First Pelican home run. Belongs to him. Earlier in this one. Hawks one back to the mound, throw across, retires him in a hurry. Two up, two down here in the seventh. And likely the last shot at adding any insurance, but arguably couldn't have a better person up in this spot. It's Princess. And is she got another one? Left center field, and that's way gone. Precious says absolutely. Second home run of this ballgame for Princess. And the Pelicans are looking good. Gave up two, get one right back on the long ball. Number two, Layla. Here comes Layla. All right. These unis are good luck. Well, two strikes in a hurry on Uptown. The pitch forthcoming. It's going to be enough to send her and the Pelicans away in the seventh. But they pick up another one. Five to your score. Bottom seven will go. And we'll see who sticks it out. Does Padilla stay? Do we go further into the pen? Here comes Churnley. Padilla looks to be staying out there for the moment. The pitch to Churnley is there. 0-1. Swing and a miss. Nothing in two. Isla gets a foul. It's still 0-2 on Bonnie. Couldn't get the chase. 1-2. On the ground, should be playable. Throw across, retires Churnley, and there's one gone in the seventh. Espinoza. And the Pelicans two outs away from their first win. That's low. Two and nothing. Espinoza takes one, two balls, and a strike. And that's trouble, right field. That's going to go back and find some real estate out there. Espinoza hustles around first. That's a double. All right, runner in scoring position. Dozen rolls. Is going to face Padilla. Runner in second. That's a strike. Owen one on the way. That's in there. 0-2 here from Padilla. Swing and a miss. And the Pelicans and out away. Padilla and out away. Urban Farmhand last choice here for Lakewood. Last hope for them rather. Maybe last choice too. I don't know. I don't know the guy. And on the ground this should do it. Charge. Throw. Ball game. And... Well, the Pine City Pelicans pick up their first win as an organization mid-season as they defeat the Dazzlers. Final score in this one, 5-2. Five, five runs, 11 hits, no errors. Against two runs, five hits, no errors. Both ball clubs having good numbers. Here's a look at those for those of you that are interested in that sort of thing. All right. Well, the win today is actually going to go to Lorenzo Clark, the save to Padilla. And how about that ball game for quite a few of our guys? All right, look at this. Look at this. All right, Brick Brickley Salmon, we don't want to talk about it, but uh, Nick Jackman, hey, how about that? 
I don't know. I can't quite read it. One for four, maybe a home run, and uh, two two home runs for Princess Precious. She deserves the MVP spot, absolutely. Wow. All right. What a ball game. And that's how you start off when you're in a new organization, that's for sure. And we'll see how we look after we simulate these CPU ball games and we get set for what's next. All of a sudden, things are looking a little bit different as we get a look at what's kind of going on in the division. Lots of games to be played yet by everybody. And they're playing them. We'll get a look at what's going on there. Man, intense matchups all over the place here. 2-0... 4-1 final there. I can't see all this in time to see what's really going on. But we got lots of games that aren't ours. Well, we are temporarily at least in uh, the top spot in our division. We're 10 and 9. They're 10 and 10, and that is Mexico City. You don't want to look at this other division, man. You have to go all the way down to, like, fifth place. One, two, three, four, five. Before you get close to something that resembles where we're at. And that's the bottom of the barrel. So, dangerous stuff. Other side of the league. But, uh, well, we're looking at Detroit coming to town. As we get our first home game in. And we'll have that for you. It'll be a good one because we'll have Ruby taking the hill. And uh, she's got the gets ahead. She's 1-3 this season, though. 6-3-9 ERA. Not looking great there. And uh, Grissom. I'm going to mess this up. Grissom Travis. 1-1 record with a 5-2-9 ERA. Nothing special. Good Velo. Not much else other than that. We're going to take a look at the player development situations before we decide to call it a day. And there's not a lot of options. Let's be 100% real here. Ah, uh, man. 32, Ronan Lamb, uh, nothing, 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 looking good there, um, Layla, could see, what is that, power speed, I mean, nothing bad there, could lose your contact versus left bonus, that's never good, uh, we could gain bad jumps, well, who is it, and what is it for, Nick Jackman, uh, for some contact, Plus speed, minus two fielding. I don't know if I really want to do that for him. He's kind of a power guy, if anything. Uh, not much to, to marvel at anywhere else, to be honest with you. Well, what do we got down here? We got Horse Moody. Could get uh, some velo and could gain clutch. Yeah, let's do that for Horse. Why not? The velo certainly doesn't help. Can we get clutch? Darn. That's all right. Well, that's all right. We'll take the stat boost anyway and save our money. And, man, it's been a while since we've uh, hung out in the Super Mega Baseball realm. Let's, uh, I'm going to do something. We're not going to play this game, but what I am going to do is we're going to come up here. And this is the only way, this is the fastest way I know how to do this. We're going to pick our home unis. And we're going to go here to end, uh, end the night to our this one right there we go you look at the team in our home whites man it's gonna be fun it's gonna be uh, just a refresh nothing drastically different or anything like that but uh, hey why not switch it up let me know what you think any thoughts you have on the unis colors improvements we could uh, we could switch it up a little bit as we move into our first home game at a new stadium and uh, Man, it's going to be fun. Just uh, switching it up a little bit, keep this series going. Uh, thank you guys, by the way, for all your support uh, in regards to the Great Cut 2024 and my other video about San Diego. If you haven't checked those out, they're fun. Um, you guys know the drill. I've been doing this for a few years now. I do whatever I want on this channel. So if you're here for this, I appreciate you. If you'd like to check out something else, wouldn't mind it if you would uh, like to. But if not, don't worry about it. Don't, uh, don't beat yourself up. Appreciate all you guys checking this one out. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.